Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty Side. Thanks for joining me today, I really appreciate it. With this video, we're gonna go a little different direction. Um, I'm, it's more gonna be like a positive thing for, for men and um, you know, what men's health and striving to be better, things like that. Um, it's from a YouTube channel called Stoic Motivate. Stoic Motivate. Six skills every man needs in life. So we're going to watch this video and see what it's all about. I have not seen it at all. So have you ever it. noticed how some things change all the time, but others stay the same? Here's a fact. A man should always be able to handle himself in any situation. Yeah. There are certain skills that every man should learn, sure. no matter what time or place he lives in. Some people might think this video promotes toxic masculinity. Good. That's understandable because many men today are confused about their roles. Look, I, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. I know I'm, I apologize. Um, I'm starting to embrace that term toxic masculinity. Yes, I'm a toxic male because I like to be stoic. I like to think of my think things through. I like to be logical and I like peace and quiet in my life. And I want, you know, my mental health is, is paramount over what some woman wants. So if that makes me a toxic man, then that's what I'll be, baby. They've been told that men and women are the same, <laughs> which isn't true. In this video, we'll talk about six important skills that every man should learn to master in life. Okay. Number one, learn to defend yourself. Yeah, that's a good one. It doesn't matter if you're a doctor, businessman, or artist. If you don't know how to defend yourself, yeah. you're missing something important. While it's best to avoid street fights or arguments that turn violent, mm -hmm. it's still smart to learn basic self-defense. Imagine yeah. you're walking with someone you love and stranger insults or touches them. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Waiting for the police might not be an option and doing nothing yeah. could hurt your relationship and your self-respect. Yep. Today, many men would ignore such situations, hoping they don't have to act. Well, and also, you know, that's that's one thing that I've I've been wanting to do is to get into some self-defense classes. I have a uh, a few buddies of mine that do that and you know, they they love it and it makes them feel good, even though they get they get you know their butts kicked. That's not really the point. They're learning how to defend themselves. They're getting physical. They're using their body in a positive way and interacting with other guys, making friends, all that kind of stuff, while learning to defend yourself. And um, yeah, so I, I think it's a great idea. And, and the point there about a loved one or even a friend, you know, what are you going to do when someone fucks with you and you don't know how to defend yourself? That sucks. That'd be a shitty situation. But to be as in. a man, protecting the people you care about is your responsibility. If you ignore it, you're giving up your role as a protector. Yeah, and a lot of people I think would have uh, some issue with this that men are seen as like they have to do this kind of stuff. And um, you know, if you don't want to, then yeah, you don't you don't have to. I don't want to tell a man how to live his life, but um, I think when it comes down to even your own personal protection, learning to defend yourself would be very beneficial. Now don't go looking for fights, right. but if you find yourself <laughs> in a situation where you need to defend yourself or others, yeah. it's important to know how to act. Yeah. Learn to throw a proper punch, move with speed, and protect yourself. But remember, it's easy to get hurt if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So make sure to train properly. Number two, know how to calm a situation. Mm -hmm. Knowing how to defend yourself is important, but even more important is learning how to avoid conflict when possible. Being able to talk things through or calm others down before a fight breaks out yeah. is a valuable skill. I, I totally agree with this one because I've gotten better with this over the years um, getting older and uh, it has been very beneficial and it has 
uh, in many situations, especially when like alcohol is involved or something like that, uh, bring like de-escalating a situation has been great and is I've avoided many unfavorable situations um, by being able to do this. I think it's that's it's very the true. kind of skill that shows leadership. Think of it like this. The strongest men don't have to fight. Right. Just their presence alone is enough to keep others in line. Mm -hmm. If you're able to defend yourself, you'll be more confident in stepping up and defusing a tense situation before it escalates. Knowing how to avoid trouble is just as important as knowing how to handle it when it comes. Yep. The two skills go hand in hand being strong, and also being able to keep peace. Number three, peace is nice. develop a strong presence. Have you ever met someone who doesn't even need to speak, but you can feel their presence in the room? Oh yeah. This is not some magical talent. It's a skill that can be learned over time. Having a strong presence is about building confidence in yourself. And it starts with small things, walking tall, making eye yeah, contact yeah. and speaking clearly. Yeah, that's that's one. Uh, here's another. Yeah. When you shake hands, yeah. do so with confidence. Yeah, this has been a big thing for me too. Because um, I used to, when I was younger, I would like, I'd walk in like kind of hunched over, like avoiding eye contact, being really quiet. You know, I'm still not super loud or anything like that, but I definitely do stand up taller look at people when I shake hands, I, I do, you know, I, it's a firm handshake. It's not some weak shit. And it's, it's gotten to the point now, if I receive a weak handshake from a guy, I'm just like, I'm like, ugh, <laughs> like, what is this? I, and I, I don't trust him. I, cause I, I think he's, he's going to betray me. If he gives me some weak ass little pussy handshake, I, I, it just, it is what it is. And I don't, I don't like that. The weak handshake. And people that are are like, uh, you know, I don't, I can't trust them. So I totally uh, and when identify you with this another one. Another man, do so with respect. Yep. Some people try to fake this by being too aggressive. Yep. Or acting like they're in control. That's another thing is when someone's way too over the top about it, or when they shake your hand, it, it's like a vice grip. It's like, okay, chill the fuck out, dude. That's also an insecure thing to me when another guy's got to be like, I'm so alpha and in your face. And it's like, dude, shut but the it's fuck easy up. to spot a faker. Yeah. The best way to build a strong presence mm -hmm. is to learn from real men around you. This could be your father, a mentor, or someone you look up to surround yourself with strong individuals yeah. and you'll start to pick up on their habits. This way you'll develop true respect from others not from intimidation, but mm -hmm. from confidence. Yeah, that's a big Number difference. Number four, practice deep thinking. Being able yeah. to think deeply is one of the best skills you can have in life. It helps you make better decisions, have more interesting conversations, mm -hmm. and improve your life in general. Yeah, I gotta agree with this one. Um, where, where I live, there's a few nature parks around here, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's very, it's a very bright, beautiful day. No, I don't want to show out there. Um, but I'm probably going to go to the park later and just walk. Dude, I, I put my phone away. I just listen to the sounds in nature. And I just, I think for about an hour. And it's so mentally refreshing and keeps your sanity by just getting away from the technology, the computers, the phone, everything, and just thinking about life. And what are the next steps? What am I going to do from now on? What am I going to do in a year? All that kind of stuff. It's so nice. And it, I really recommend it. You don't have to do it at a park. Wherever you can feel, you know, that you can unwind. And just let yourself, you know, let, let your mind wander. Deep thinking means looking at things from more than one point of view. That don't too, just yeah. believe everything you hear. And also don't assume everything you know is correct. It's important to challenge your own ideas yeah. and be open to learning new things. Sometimes the way you've always done something might not be the best way. Mm -hmm. Questioning your beliefs doesn't make you weak. 
In fact, it's a sign of strength because it shows you're willing to learn and grow. Amen to that. Number five, learn how to manage money. One of the biggest <laughs> issues many people face does not know how to handle their money. Schools don't really teach financial skills. That's true. So most people go through life not knowing how to save, invest, or plan for the future. A lot of people think earning a paycheck is the only way to make money. But that's not true. Learning about financial independence and how to make smart money decisions is crucial for success in life. Yeah. A well-known book that can help you change your mindset about money is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I never read that one. It shows you that there are better ways to handle your finances than just working for a salary. Start learning about money as soon as you can. Okay. Because financial this. skills are essential for a successful life. Yeah. Um, I think another part of it, too, is self-control. A lot of people don't have self-control. Um, discipline. You know, if you, if you make money and you're like, oh, cool, I got this paycheck, but you're not thinking about, I need to pay the rent, I've got this bill, I've got that bill, and then you go buy a bunch of stuff that you can't afford, that shows a severe lack of discipline. And so I think a good step of learning, you know, is to learn how to manage your money because that will give you the discipline for other things in life, for sure. And if I haven't read that book, if anybody knows about that book, um, let me know if it helped you in the comments. Number six, learn how to deal with stress. Everyone faces stress in life, but how you handle it makes all the difference. The person who panics under pressure will never do as well as the one who stays calm and thinks clearly in tough times. Yeah. As a man, your responsibilities will grow, and with that comes more stress. You need to be <laughs> ready for it. One of the biggest reasons people feel stressed is procrastination putting things off until the last minute. If you're always rushing to finish things or feeling like you're falling behind, you're likely procrastinating. A good way to take control is by writing down your tasks and deadlines. Just seeing everything written down can help clear your mind and reduce stress. Hmm. Then, work on one thing at a time, yeah. focusing on the most important task first. Yep. This way, you'll stay ahead of your responsibilities instead of constantly reacting to them. Men are expected to handle pressure and perform well, while society often forgives women for not being able to deal yeah. with the same stress. As a man, handling stress is part of your role, and it's something you should work on without complaining. Well, there you go. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I totally agree. Ooh, maybe we'll watch this one, Reverse Psychology, Ways to Handle Women. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I totally, th these were good. These were really, really good. And, um, you know, this, this whole like managing stress thing for the last one, I don't, I don't know. I don't really have that problem of like my responsibilities getting out of control. I don't know. I just, I don't put them off, but you know, if writing them down, whatever you got to do to make it work for you, do it, you know? So, yeah, I think this was good. This was a, you know, uplifting, motivating kind of thing. And um, I like to see that with the guys, you know, that subscribe and my channel. I, I like seeing guys uh, be successful and move forward in life because we get shit on a lot and from society and media and everything. And I want to see you guys succeed, do well. Hell yeah. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and each other. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.